Obviously, it's a new month this Lent, it's spring and the NWR competition is still on. Jy staan die kans om a 3000 Namibiese dollar koop bewys te win vir die komplimente van Namibia Wildlife Resorts. So, this whole month I've been getting DMs from people asking what's the keyword, what can I do to win? Guys, it's simple, watch COPS 94.1. And this time we made it much easier. So COPS 94.1 is also available on Cosmos 94.1 YouTube page. You can watch the full episode there. While you're watching COPS 94.1, a keyword will pop up, you know, like an NWR, Gross Barman, NWR, Itzy. That's the keyword you put in the comment section. Like COPS 94.1 and share. When we see most of you just put the caption you don't like, you don't share. And the second come you leave any. Jy kan win, do it, who knows, once you win, we might be so kind to take you on COPS 94.1. Remember COPS 94.1 every Sunday at 8 on Cosmos 94.1 Facebook page and YouTube page. And if you want to catch the action live, and elke vrijdag aand op Cosmos 94.1 van 8 tot middernacht. I'm Darren Smith, enjoy this episode, it's a banger! Cops 94.1 Cosmos and the Ventuk City Police hot on the trail of crime in our capital. Cops 94.1 Well, welcome back again to Cops 94.1 Tonight we are spoiled for me the first time ever a pizza pocket. I like that a pizza pocket and uh, I always jokingly say this is a lucky packet Let me just take what the winner is It makes us a lekker pie So it's also more of a year to get it Pizza galore. And uh, I think the nice thing, apart from being a surprise for me, is that you can the bonnets, the taste of the dog, the beer is lekker, and we're ready to rock and roll. Of the people in Elkhorn, in Gap, you may wish them to the black of the day. How is the evening? How is the mood? Yeah. Very excited. Eh? We are going to be with the mighty city police for the evening. I hope you are all well. Eh? Any sick report? Because we have got also medics on board. Eh? They can give you a bit paracetamol and uh, they can boost you also with injection. Uh, Yes, it's stipulated on the program. Tonight, we'll have an activity with the city police. Yeah, but on this program, we try by all possible means to be as professional as possible. And when we are talking about professionalism, is that we, we you know, at the end of the day, in as much as we are police officers, we also want to, the community to buy in to, so that we bring them on. You know, so professionalism will mean we talk to them kindly, unless otherwise. Eh? Then the law now will take its course. That is when, if there is need for minimum force, if not maximum force, then obviously we go to that extent. But that is not where we want to be. At the end of the day, we want to aim for voluntary and on compliance. Ne? Voluntary compliance, where they buy in the blame. Oh, but it's true. Ne? Why should I do this if there is no need? Eh, that is what we want so that we maintain law and order. At the end of the day, we want the, the last P, which is the last P, prevention. prevention. Yes. I think that is all from me. Uh, as I said, there is really nothing uh, that we are focusing on, but it's going to be according to how the night unfolds. That is all for me. Well, well, you are going home now because you have seen us. Yes, evening. Good evening, Well, well. So you are enjoying your your alcohol in the Friday. Yes. Sir. Yes. Where is the system that you were playing here? Huh? Evening. How are you? Inside. Who is the bartender? Yeah. 
So where is the system that you were playing? Now? The... Okay. Just keep your volume down there. Eh? Mm, we don't want you to disturb the others, the neighbors, and making a lot of noise. Enjoy your Friday, peace. Not, uh, yeah, it was a bit loud. Because when we just came, the music was loud. It's a bit loud. Yeah, just keep it down. And you enjoy your. Who's working here? She's the bartender. Ah, not sewage. No, it's the car wash. Hmm? Why is this? Okay. No, it's not a bar. It's a what? It's just a car wash. This one is just a wash. Now you are washing cars like this. No, man. Then we just have our drinks. Our customers will take a bath. Mm. Full, full, full. Mm. Okay, enjoy your. Mm. Maybe at least to cover. We heard stories from my parents that it was a lot of things going on. Yeah. But then I just feel like the tortoise back then mm. they grew out of it. Mm. And it's not that. Yeah. yeah. But so yeah. even the young the young the young people are okay, let me say from from Okanja Park to this side. Mm. It's safe. But okay. Okanja Park we have things that <laughs> If I wanna go there, I'll take a cab and come. Really? Yeah. But here you can walk. Yeah, this is yeah, so I can safe. jump. Really? And then I can just walk home. Even two o'clock in the morning, I can and knock off and this then is how the river just goes, but you'll not get someone raped here or anything. Okay. This side is very that, that for me that is really good very news, guys. <laughs> yeah, I want to come visit you during oh, the day wow. just to see the activities for the yeah, yeah for the neighborhood during the day. Mm. Okay. You don't have a lot of school dropouts and those. Uh, Most of them went to grade 10, yeah. Mm. Failed them, maybe. Majority is attending now. Mm. Yeah, our community is really safe. Nice. Yeah. That is really nice. Because people assume Windhoek is the most dangerous place, but <laughs> here you are. No, thank and you, guys. The community huh? that is looking like this, mm. it's really red. Yeah, e exactly. Uh. Wow. I'll come and visit you guys during the day. Sure. Mm. <laughs> thank you so much. I was still driving to my house. Oh, was it a joke? <laughs> you, want to, died, yeah, you want to get in? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I could see the how they are talking to each other. I'm actually impressed that I'm in the middle of Windhoek and somehow it's very, it's quite dark here, but I'm really impressed to hear that this is the safest. People walk here during the night, early morning hours, but you never hear of a rape, of a robbery. If only you could have more of such locations in Windhoek. So I'm very impressed. And wherever you are, make your community safe. It's only coming from you. It, you are the only person that can actually do that. So yeah, it's, uh, we are in Kilimanjaro, just nearby Mahulili Center. Is this our taxi? All is well, this is our taxi. Yeah. Who is this? Where is the driver? Who is the suspect? They, they took off. Ay, shay, 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 shay. Okay. No, this, uh, we have an idea. Awesome. Super. Okay. Nee, voor ons luisteraars, ik denk een van die goeie brokjes nies is een uh, taxi is vroeger vanavond gehijack. Uh, die eienaar hulle afgegooi daar ergens in Windhoek in die noordelijke industriële gebied. Ons het het op Cosmos 9.4.1 uh, verspreid en uh, ja, ek ben nie eens toonig met die Tadana, die toe sy oproep gekry en uh, we got the taxi with me, Sergeant Tatite. One of those interesting things, community work together, we recovered the vehicle, sir. Evening, Mr. Ja, Frans, ja. Uh, yeah, one of yeah. those evenings. Um, yeah. On a sad note, uh, two victims were obviously uh, were victims of this, uh, uh, victims of crime. So the vehicle was hijacked somewhere in the mm. western suburbs. The driver then was uh, um, abandoned somewhere else uh, close to the areas of Eros. And mm. the driver, I mean, the suspect then took off somewhere into the areas of uh, Eros where somebody was now robbed. Mm -hmm. um, we noticed some identification documents we suspected for the suspect that, I mean for the victim that was robbed somewhere in uh, in Eros. Mm -hmm. 
So obviously as a, as a norm, as a practice, once you hijack somebody's car, use it to commit another crime. Yeah. And then these are, this is one of the areas where they come and... Uh, the vehicles, uh, yeah. The rather yeah. abandon it and then yeah. take off and then maybe go we'll start over again. So, 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 so let's just get it. They already used it for a crime already? It was done. It was used for a crime already. Hey, look at that. I mean, we need to finish operate here in Mana. Well done to everybody that worked together, that assisted together. And again, start from my side without each other. And without the community, the eyes and the ears, <laughs> we will not be that. The community is the police, and yeah. the police is the community. Yeah. Without them, we cannot do much. Thank so you. So we work yeah. together to ensure that we can be able to get successes yeah. like this. Thank you. But yeah. uh, investigation continues. We have yeah. a reasonable suspicion that uh, we will succeed in being able yeah. to find these guys. Yeah, there you have it. Bye, thank you. And all the officers who were involved, we will see you again. We will see you again. We will The good news is the owner just arrived here. It's actually sad what transpired through here. Uh, sir, it happened in Olympia. Your family, your kids, the relatives was in the car. What happened? Tell us you shortly, briefly, sir. Uh, my sister was coming from school um, and unfortunately as a daily routine of going back home the unfortunate chain of events took place where at the stop sign the burglars unfortunately um, threw bricks to the car uh, damaging the front windshield i don't know if uh, the team got a snapshot of that because you saw that yeah they smashed yeah. the side windows um, pulled them out of the car uh, luckily no bodily harm was done yeah. nobody caused any attacks to them physically uh, they requested for their cell phones, removed the SIM cards, and um, I'm sure they tied up the legs and behind the arms. Yeah. Luckily, because she was in close proximity to the house, she was able to walk back. Um, then, upon arriving at the house, is where she informed everybody of what transpired. Luckily, with the assistance of the Namibian police, city police, and of course, Cosmos as well, uh, we were able to retrieve the vehicle, also unharmed, um, just the battery removed. So it's, a, it's unfortunate of what took place, but we are grateful and happy for the retrieval of the vehicle and the fact that no bodily harm was done to the victims. Thank you so much. Uh, they, he told us a whole story. I am thankful that they all have been but this is not the kind of stuff that we need in Namibia whatsoever. And unfortunately, you know, Namibia, Africa, across the world. Yeah. It's not something you'd want to see, but we do live in a world where we have good parties and negative people in the world. Yeah, so yeah. these things will happen, but in this particular event, we are grateful that, that nobody was on it. But I must also commend this young man. They are so calm. I mean, I would have been in a state of damage. <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need to maintain composure. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned something yeah. from you. Thank you very much. Oh, no. but are you confiscating the knives or what do you do if you find anything or any yeah, dangerous course, weapon? Yeah, yeah, it's one Where are those knives? Uh, we, the security, they keep them. Where? They take from, uh, they just keep them in their pockets. What? In their pockets? Yeah, and then no, they bring it later. Ah, and they must bring it immediately. Yeah. It's only safer that way because now, what if something happens and they have that weapon on them? Then anything can happen, yeah. Okay. And in fact, when we come like this, we would like to see whatever you have confiscated and then we take it to the station. Okay, okay. Because when it stays here again, it's just going to end up on the street. Okay, and it's a problem, yeah. So, so far, there's nothing. You ah, so must just inform them like that. Once they confiscate anything, immediately they bring it here. Yeah, in France, so that it's not there where it can be yeah, used. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Yeah. No, there is order today. Yeah, Let's just keep it that way. But when we arrived, there was noise. Oh, yes. yes, there was noise. So please just minimize it. How are you? Uh, who is in charge? Open that door. Oh. Excellent innovation. Uh, is, call him, call him, call him. The very... No, this is just... It's really not coming, Aka. Miss Gambandi, I'm not Jenny. Why are you Why are you having loud music? Is it loud? Is it that loud? You don't know. 
You don't know whether it's loud. I'm not sure. You are not sure. Are you a DJ? You are a DJ. Now, is this a bar or what? What part is happening here? Eh? A restaurant and bar. A bar. Yeah, restaurant. But is it? A... You don't know the Belarus uh, regulation. I know this is not the first time for the police to come here. It's not the first time. About noisy, your music and what one. This is just a performance. Where is the call of call him? Is there the container? To you. No, uh, it belongs to the owner of the place that uh, we are talking to. Oh, that you are renting from? Oh, yes, yes. mm. So you have nothing on you? But, uh, but in Can Garupa, we have nothing to do with the noise that we mm -hmm. make. Mm -hmm. Where do you stay? Call someone to bring your ID. Mm. The legal document, we need to put your particulars here, and they must be correct. Uh, sorry, gentlemen, your name is? My name is King. Yeah? King. King, eh? there is nothing like it's my first time to make noise. There's nothing like that. You are aware when your loud is your music is loud, it's noise pollution and it's a bylaw offense. Ne? Noise pollution is a finable offense, hence this book. So whether it's your first time or not, unfortunately you are going to be issued with a fine. However, you need to get us your positive identification, which is your ID in this case. Either your ID Ah, that's sure. Okay, Mr. Mr. King. I don't know. I don't know. So then, then if you if you ask from the police, then it was very, very extremely very, very extremely loud. We could hear it from there. Very far. Listen, listen, Mr. When King. We never come to you. We thought you would see it by yourself. Tara. We went there. Just, just to, to hear the voice, the volume, whether it's loud or not. King, King. Nine zero one double nine. Uh, it's one thousand dollar. Am I right? Oh, then it's fine. I give it to Mr. Kaldiange Rutha. He said, "Yeah, he's the new owner now." If you come for the second time, if this community called you, then you must give them a second one, second offense, which will be 2,000. Okay, Kavari. Enjoy. Okay, I'm telling him now. You hear from the commander. He's saying, don't make noise again. I put... Yeah, he's listening now. I put the, the thing on the loudspeaker. You can even speak in Ocherero. Yeah. Talk to the commander. He's the commander. For the... Mm. He's running. 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 Hello. Hello. Stop it. He's running. Hello. Stop! Stop! I just wanted to warn him. Welkom op 94.1 was nogal aanzienlijk bezig. Interessante incidenten vanavond. Uh, twee voertuigen wat gekaap is in een 
Baie gelukkig en in al twee gevallen is die voertuig teruggekry. Die eerste incident was al over my uniek. Die inlichting is vir ons gegee. Ons het die inlichting uh, verspry op Cosmos 94.1. Raak in die taxi en jylle sal in die glo nie seker die beste deel van na 20 na half uur daarna toe uh, kry ons die oproep taxi is gekry en in die tweede geval en ek dink hier kan ons inwoners uh, uh, really take note of that. It happened in Olympia. Uh, the children were on their way home and the next moment uh, some suspects stood next to the road through some bricks through the window and to hijack the car. Luckily, uh, the children were not harmed, but end of the day, just imagine the trauma that the two kids went through. And then uh, another inter- interesting incident was noise pollution. Uh, the guy got himself a fine and end of the day, uh, also stern warning in future, it will be much more worse. So end of the day, wees maar altyd voorzichtig, wees op jou uitkijk en ek dink die meest belangrikste wees bewus van wat om jou gebeur. Frans Rotter en Kops 94.1 Windhoek, sien jou volgende week vrijdag.